Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be talking Vorsten Bosch close-up mats. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.com, my membership site. All levels, all sorts of magic, hundreds and hundreds of videos to right at the beginning, even if you've never handled a deck of cards, to right at the end if you've lost your life becoming a geek and don't think of much else. It's all there. And join us for the live sessions on Thursdays as well. Most Thursdays, uh, we'll be having a special guest and me waffling on and discussions about magic on Zoom. Right, all for 9 99 a month. Ridiculous. That is absolutely preposterous. Have a look at it on mymagic.co. So I'm going to do a couple of videos on the lead up to Blackpool Convention because lots of people are going, you know, what's a, what are people excited about? What are the new releases? And I will be talking about a couple of new releases, probably before or after. But there are some that have been released this year or, you know, older stuff that I think does require having a look at. One of those things are these Vorst and Bosch close-up mats. Now, this is not really a full review. This is just a heads up because they've got a kind of convention special at the moment. Not an offer. They probably have got an offer, but this is something that you can only get at conventions and something that uh, kind of excited me more than it maybe should have. But if you want the whole review of the Vorst and Bosch stuff, uh, I will put a link below or after this video and you can watch the original review. Now, some of you might be thinking, hang on a minute, He's just saying this because he's been given some stuff and he's doing a, a review because he said, I'll review it if you give me that. You'd be absolutely bang on the money with that one. But remember, I don't want any stuff that I don't really like. I've got enough magic. I don't want any more unless I really like it. And then I went up to Sven at the session and went, oh, that's lovely. I'll do a review if you give us one of them. And he said, yeah, all right, win-win. Won't make any apologies for that because I love a nice close-up mat. Do you need them to practice magic? Of course you don't. You can practice magic anywhere. That is the beauty of it. And nine times out of 10, when I'm just walking around, I have a roll-up cheap close-up mat in my bag, and they do a budget one, actually. Uh, I also have my shuffle pad, Forced and Bosch one every now and then if I'm traveling far, and that's great. But this is for when I'm really, you know, maybe I'm struggling to practice and I just want to sit in front of something nice and just, you know, enjoy it and, and get lost in it which you can do again without it, but it's, it's lovely, isn't it? It's nice sitting in front of something nice. Someone said to me once, when it was Pete Wardell said about um, IMAX, you know, regardless of what you think of them, it's just nice to work on something that looks nice. And this looks and feels lovely. So what I got was the, you get the inlay very briefly. You can get these pads, they do come off. I, I think they've got Velcro on, I don't wanna knacker it up. You, they've got Velcro on them. I'm gonna embarrass myself now by not being at it. Oh, I've got no nails at the moment. Oh gosh, because I've been doing Benzeus cuts. Benzeus flip out moves. There we go. So, <laughs> so that was very uh, stylish of me. So that's the inlay bit, which I've had for ages. I've got the microfiber. They do microfiber wool and this velvet. Velvet Plus, I think it's called. Um, the microfiber, I think, is best for learning because the microfiber is kind of you got to work a bit harder, and I think that's a good thing when you're learning shuffles. Uh, the wool is very easy going, and this is kind of in between. But I've not had a, a kind of, I think an emerald or something was the one I had before, which looks beautiful, but I haven't realised it didn't have a black one, and I saw the black ones and just thought, you know, going back to the original close-up pads I saw, I just think cards and coins look lovely on black. So this is the size of the black one that I got, but also the original one that I use all the time that you would have seen on the reviews. I'm just going to get the measurements for you because some people are going to want to know. So this is about, there's a few millimetres zero there, 53 centimetres by 33, and then add another you know, couple of centimetres on for the base. But you don't need that base. You can get a really lovely base that doesn't, sort of isn't as heavy and doesn't come around it. They do a light one, but you know, it just is the shape of the mat, which I think is beautiful. Now this is what I'm talking about. So the shuffle pad is this tiny thing that they do. It's at home at the moment. I'm in the office, they're away from home, but that's kind of a practice pad. That's not really a performance pad. You can use it as that because it creates a nice thing, but it's, it's very small. This is great for stage, parlor, all that thing, but you've got to be driving this stuff. It's a lot to carry around. This I think is really lovely. So this is the new one that you cannot currently at time of recording get in the Vorst and Bosch on the Vorst and Bosch website. 
or in the bricks and mortar shop. Links will be below about all that, um, all of that. But you can get it on the web um, on the com at the convention. So they had them at the session, and this measures about 26 by 39 centimeters and then add a bit for the base you don't need the base you can get a bottom one, bottom one so again just like the others you can get the vase the vases the bases that come flush with these and during all of this of course i will give you some close-up shots with the obligatory royalty free music that you've got to use whenever you do anything close up to show you how pretty they are but this is just a really lovely size it's big enough to do all your card stuff on Yes, you don't, you're not going to do massive spreads, but it's it's big enough to kind of do coins across, kind of stuff. It, it's, a, it's a nice staging area, and I think that's nice for a close-up pad. It's more portable than the bigger one, and I just, I've been using this all the time. It just, I put it out in front of me. It just feels like the right size, again, for practice and some performances. So it's just a heads up. Do go and check out the stuff on the stand, the Vorsten Bosch stand at Blackpool if you're going or any conventions because it really is lovely and as they say on the website, you know, we're at a time where, you know, there's some great quality products coming out but there's a lot of stuff mass produced that doesn't quite, you know, come up to snuff and this goes the other way, you know, they're there creating, you know, handmade products that will last you for a very, very long time. My other pads have had for whatever it is, two, three years now. And they're great. So this is, yes, it's a luxury item. Yes, you don't need it. But I think for those of us that, that appreciate such things, and I don't just appreciate the finer things, I like all manner of tat. But this is a very joyous thing. So um, there's my sort of review. But have a look at the proper review of the Vorsten Bosch uh, medium, I suppose. It, I don't know what they're actually calling it, because, again, it's not on the website, but it's a smaller one of the of the regular size this is the velvet plus as i said and this is the small deluxe small deluxe so any questions do let you know and let me know and they do these in also the wool and the microfiber they have do have a different name for the microfiber uh so again forgive me um for not but you'll see it there's wool velvet and the other one uh you'll see it on the site okay more to come very soon any questions again let me know below and have a great one uh, do have a look at onlinemagic.co and if you're coming to blackpool do come and see my lecture i'm lecturing on the biggest myths in magic all those things we get told we shouldn't shouldn't do that maybe aren't true uh, for some of us so that is saturday at five o'clock if you're watching this before blackpool do come and say hello that'd be lovely all right take care like and subscribe cheers